Welcome everybody, welcome. This is vlog number five. Day five, vlog five. All the fives, high five. Talk about me, I'm gonna talk about myself. You know when you meet somebody new or you make friends with somebody and they always hit you with the normal questions, you know? Who is your favorite Spice Girl? What do you like to eat in your pajamas? Favorite Thunderbirds episode? They always ask you these questions and they always ask you and you just think, oh, no, 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 I don't know. Why do you want to know? Why are you, why are you asking me all this? I don't know. Um, so I thought what I'd do to anybody that does know me and is watching this, might know these things, but is anybody new or only knows a little bit about me, I'm going to tell you not five, but ten. Ten things about me. Before we get started, a little bit of housekeeping. I just want to thank everybody who's watched um, the four videos so far. I've had fun putting them together, uh, fun editing them. Still a learning curve. I can't believe it's still only day five. I'm doing this all year. I promise you I would do this all year. Uh, if, if, if I don't, I will be really, really cross with myself. So I'm hopefully going to do this for the whole of 2017. Anyway, it's only day five. Only day five, 5th of January. So, 10 things about me. And I've even made some notes, yeah, with my pen. This is a red sharpie. I have two, count them, two, that's not four, two um, children, kids. Well, one of them's not a child anymore. One of them is 19 years of age, and she'll hate me for this, but these are some pictures of my daughter, and she is amazing, is now at university, and she is uh, just... An amazing daughter, and I couldn't be prouder. And I also have a son. So I have one of each. I have the, a daughter who's now 19, and I have a son who is two, uh, but will be three in March. Can you see that? There you go. So there's the boy, and there's the girl. Yeah! My kids. So they're my kids. I have two kids. I am into country music. Don't turn off! I know not everybody likes country music, but I'm sorry, I was brought up on country music as well as other types of music as well, so I love it. I even have a hat. I mean, I have a hat. Uh, so yeah, I like modern country music, I like old country music, I just like country music. A hat. I look a bit like uh, Shawn Michaels now, Sweet Gene Music. But uh, yes, I like country music. So you might not know that about me, but I do. I like country music. Uh, I could name people, and you would sit there and go, "Say so what? Who?" But yes. So that's number two. I like country music. Woo! This might shock some people, seeing the copious amounts of ink I've got on my arm. But I hate pain. I hate pain. Uh, if I have the smallest cut, I am just the biggest baby about pain. I don't deal well with blood. My my skin just goes uh, pretty much. Uh, see-through and uh, I just don't cope well with pain at all so how I've managed to get all these tattoos I don't know but that is something about me I just really can't cope with pain pain is not good pain is not a good thing uh, I'm actually recovering from man flu at the minute which is a whole other story but yeah pain flu aches I'm just horrible I just can't cope with it I can't cope with it at all so I hate pain um, but I love tattoos so I'm still going to keep getting tattoos, and I just have to, I just have to deal with the brain. <laughs> no, it's not Lucas Aid. I don't hate Lucas Aid. Lucas Aid's all right. Um, uh, one thing about me is number four. I spent a, a hell of a lot of time in hospital. I had a motorbike crash in 1990, I think it was, a long time ago. Completely smashed my leg up. I was in hospital for three months. Uh, I was in and out of physio for a year and a half, but I'm okay. You know, I can get around. I still get, you know, trouble with the knees and stuff. But, um, yeah, so bad bike accident and spent all that time in the hospital. Um, not many people know that, but obviously the people that are close to me know that. It wasn't a great time. It wasn't a very happy time. You know, before then, the, the most I'd spent was like a few days in the hospital. And then when you get into hospital and they sit there and they say, well, you're probably going to be in here for at least two or three months. Your world just drops out from you. There's no way that you can stay in bed for that long. I mean, I could now if someone said to me, <laughs> "Go and stay in bed for a few months and say, ah, I've got this." But yeah, at the time I was young and um, 
just really didn't want to be there. So three months in a hospital bed was really, really sucky. And it was three months and it was a long time. Um, so that was uh, number four that you might not know about me. I was in the hospital, smashed my leg up. I also smashed my head and I've broke my arm and my wrist. And everyone's got fear. I've got fear of quite a few things. I'm scared of heights and, and all that thing. But one thing that really terrifies me is, and before you shout Lego at your screen, I've not got a fear of Lego. I love Lego. I've got a fear of horses. Now, I don't know what started it because years ago, I had a friend that had horses and I used to help, you know, just uh, clean them out and do stuff. And I was, I had no problem. But since I grew up, something must have happened because horses scare the bejesus out of me. And plus, which probably doesn't help, I've never met a horse that likes me. Every time I go near a horse, they want to bite my face off. That's why I, I can I can cope with this horse because I can I can overpower the horse. But uh, no, horses hate me, and I have a fear of them. Um, so they stay here, over this side of the fence, and I say over this side of the fence, because um, yeah, me and horses, we just we just um, I just don't like horses. I, don't, I I'm generally scared of horses. Anyone who knows me knows that I love. Tea. I've got some now. I would drink it by the bucket loader. I would drink it all day, every day. If people just kept bringing me tea after tea, I would drink it. There's no way I wouldn't drink it. I love tea. And anybody who knows me knows that I'm a big tea fan. But anyone that doesn't know me, uh, I don't really drink drink. I don't drink coffee. I don't like any other hot drinks. I don't really drink a lot of cold drinks. I do drink some. But my drink of choice is tea. I love tea. And that is number six. I was in a film. And to prove it, this, if you can see that, is, uh, it's a bit dusty, is a poster of the film that I was in called The Drift. Now, if you go onto YouTube and you type in Backyard Productions or The Drift, you will find this film. And it's on there. The full film is on there. It's, uh, I can't remember how long it is, an hour, an hour, an hour and a half, an hour and three quarters, I don't know. Uh, but I was in the film, and to prove it, if I go, it's probably going to be back to front. I don't know where it is. Well, my name's on there somewhere. And I play a character called uh, Screws in the Drift. It was done on a very low budget. It's about five grand. Uh, it took a long time to complete. Uh, it was intense filming. But it was great fun, and some people know I was in it, some people don't. A lot of people have watched it, and to them, I'm internally grateful. Um, uh, and I was internally grateful to be a part of the, uh, the drift, thanks to a good friend of mine, Darren. Made some good friends, and still friends with him to this day. And, uh, yeah, it was good fun. So I was in this film. So if you haven't seen it, get on YouTube and find the drift. And uh, look out for screws, because that's me. I've got a little bit more hair there. It was a few years ago. I was in a film. The drift. Socks. More socks. More socks. Lots of socks. Now, I've not got fear of socks. It's all right, they're clean. Uh, the, my secret is, at number eight, is that I always wear not one, but two pairs of socks. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if I'm at home and not going out anywhere. I will very, 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 very rarely wear one pair of socks. I don't know why. I've done it for so long now. I don't even think about it, but I always wear two pairs of socks. I've got millions of pairs of socks. Uh, but I get through them so quickly because I wear two pairs at a time. Uh, and it just feels weird if I don't wear two pairs now. If I put, wear one pair and try and put a pair of shoes on, it just doesn't feel right. So I wear two pairs of socks. And this might make me the weirdest person on YouTube. I don't know. But that is number eight. I wear two pairs of socks. Don't scream Lego. I know it's Lego. I love Lego. Lego is not on the list, funny enough. I don't know why. <laughs> I like Lego. There you go. There's an added extra. Anyway, number nine is car. I don't possess a car. I don't drive a car because I have no license. This seems to be a big issue with a lot of people. They go, you don't drive? You're in your 40s and you don't drive? Well, trust me, I would love to be able to drive. But at the minute, financially, I'm not in a place where I can drive. I would love to be able to take, go and meet my daughter. I would love to be able to go and take my son out for a drive. But I don't drive. I have no car. So that is one thing about me that you now know is I don't drive. I do have my own train. I have a nice train and it goes all over the country. But these morons keep getting on as well. And they charge me money to get on my own train. As much as I keep telling them it's my bloody train. Anyway, so I have no car. I don't drive. Right? 
Hitchcock. Alfred Hitchcock. I'm a big Alfred Hitchcock fan. In fact, I'm a big movie fan. I love movies, but I especially love old films. There was a film, it wasn't a Hitchcock film, but it was a film called The Picture of Dorian Gray. And uh, they did a remake of it, which was okay. But if, you, if you're into old films and into black and white films and stuff like that, you should go back and watch The Picture of Dorian Gray, uh, the original version, black and white version. Actually, there might be a couple of versions, but it's the version that's got uh, Angela, a very, very, very young Angela Lansbury in it. And it's a very good film. But I'm a massive Hitchcock fan from Psycho to The Birds to uh, The Man Who Knew Too Much to Rear Window. Um, Vertigo, I just love, love, love Alfred Hitchcock films and I could watch these any day, every day it doesn't matter, I love these films um, I just love the way he works I love um, the, sh the sh decisions he makes, the, the shots that he uses um, and it's just brilliant and I'm a big movie lover anyway I would love to be doing something in movies as a career not just in front of the camera just, just to be involved, you know, it would be amazing but I love Alfred Hitchcock He's a big, um, a big hero of mine. I would love to achieve what he achieved and uh, have these sort of masterpieces, um, you know, forever and for millions of people to see. So, brilliant, brilliant stuff. And um, there's, you know, there's loads of other things about me, but that's a quick ten. So, a quick recap: I have kids. I'm into country music. I hate pain. Uh, I've spent a hell of a lot of time at the hospital. I've got a stupid fear of horses. I love tea. Oh, that's from the film as well. You see that? Uh, I was in the film. I wear two pairs of socks. I'm wearing two pairs now. I don't drive a car. And I love Alfred Hitchcock films. So that's just 10 things about me. Maybe you can comment and tell me 10 things about you. Or maybe you could just ignore it. Or maybe you could just watch it. And I really, really appreciate, appreciate everybody who's watching these vlogs. It's uh, going to be a real challenge to keep this up all year. But I'm determined to do it. Uh, so... Uh, I, Continue to enjoy it. If you are enjoying it, please carry on. Uh, please share. If you're not subscribed, I'd, I'd love it if you subscribed. Um, but just to get the views is is fantastic. So um, thank you. Appreciate it. And uh, go off. Make yourself a cup of tea. Watch a bit of Hitch. Or, better still, go onto YouTube. Find the film The Drift by Backyard Productions. Watch it. You'll have fun. You'll see me in it. And um, I'm also available for weddings and bar mitzvahs. Anything. I sign anything. I sign, I sign a pair of socks if you like. Anyway. Great talking to you. This was number five. Day five. See you tomorrow.